Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're gonna see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Capricorn? Okay, so right away we have the Six of Wands. We also have the High Priestess, could be dealing with the Pisces, Oof. and we have the Two of Cups. This is someone here, Capricorn, who isn't necessarily telling you just yet. We'll see what their actions are, but they're I feel like they're admiring you from afar here. This is my soulmate card, so this is definitely someone that just feels drawn to you. There's like a pull towards you. Um, you may feel it as well. Sometimes with soulmates, we can have like an aversion to them at first, but you're, you're, there's going to be this sense of familiarity, a sense of like you already know each other um, because your souls already do. I feel like this is someone who sees you as uh, very accomplished with the Six of Wands, someone who is doing really well for yourself, but you have a lot of goals as well. They're, like It's not like you're just, yeah, here's what I've done and that's it. There, there's things that you might talk about about achieving, um, whether it's like personally or in your career, what have you. And this person really admires that. I feel like they're admiring you from afar though. I'm going to pull on this high priestess card. They feel like there's like a deeper connection here, especially with this high priestess and this two of cups. It's like they know they're drawn to you, but this feels deeper than just maybe I'm attracted to them or maybe I like that they're ambitious. They know it's something more than that. I feel like this person is also dreaming about you. Um, so even if you haven't met this person yet, I feel like when you do, it's going to be instant for this person. They're going to kind of see you as someone who's very put together. I saw that Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, someone who's very responsible, someone who's a go-getter. Um, doesn't mean, you, you know, the queen is here, but you could be a male. We all have masculine and feminine energy. But this person feels drawn to you with this soulmate card. Um, tell me about the High Priestess. Right away. But yeah, this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you here. Aries energy, this person... They're thinking about it a lot. It's almost like their intuition is telling them to as well. So even if you just briefly meet this person or you've already met this person, there's something. The universe is like guiding them towards taking a leap of faith towards you here. Anything else about that high priestess? The Knight of Cups, I'm telling you. Like this person wants to, right now, they're just observing. I feel like this is someone who's a really great listener as well. Someone who really wants to get to know you. So they do a lot of listening. Um... They like to hear you talk. They like to hear about what you're doing, how far you've come, who you are, where you plan on going. But this person, ideally, like they want to take a leap of faith towards you here. They want to date you. They want to let you know like they have feelings for you here. Um, so heavy Pisces energy, but could be also Aries, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, this person also, you know, not that they, I don't get an energy of like their, their show off or anything like that, but they feel proud to like walk around with you. If they go on a date with you or if they're, you know, talking to you, I feel like they're, they're like, wow, Capricorn, like Capricorn's into me too. Like Capricorn, <laughs> the one that's getting all that done, the one that, you know, looks good doing it. The one who, they just see you as someone who's, I don't want to say they put you on a pedestal because they, I feel like they're also doing a lot of things themselves, but they really view you quite highly is how I'll say it. Um, 
Yeah, so someone definitely has a big crush on you here, but they might be silent about this right now. You might kind of have a feeling too, because I feel like your intuition is telling you that someone's interested in you. And if you're sitting there saying, you know, there's no one, there's literally no one that's coming to mind right now, I feel like we're going to find out their actions. Maybe that'll tell us a bit about how you'll meet them, but you're going to know instantly with this person too, because with soulmates, it's almost like, and the moment you, you meet a soulmate and you make that eye contact, it's very unforgettable. It's something that you'll, it's like a, a mental picture in your mind forever because soulmates are those people that um again our souls already know each other so it's a sense of like wait a second um and almost a feeling of like i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be right because soulmates are those people that we make contracts with before we get here we're supposed to meet them they help us grow we help them grow um and soulmates can be friends they can be family this feels like a romantic uh partner and I mean, I do love reading, so sometimes friends come through, but um, anyway, okay, let's see their actions towards you the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Thank you. We have the three of pentacles. So you could work with this person. You could meet, ooh, we got the lovers. Uh, Gemini energy, yeah, this person, they're just drawn to you. So you could work with them, right? And even with this three of pentacles, see how this third person is sort of up a little bit higher that's what i'm saying i feel like this person looks up to you they look they value your opinion they value what you're doing um this person is catching strong feelings for you they might not tell you that they love you but they're definitely some people don't believe in love at first sight but this person is considering it after this uh connection or like meeting you maybe they won't tell you that but this is definitely someone who uh views you quite highly here and is falling really quick so it could be a gemini or a pisces or an aries um the king of swords they're trying to be smart about this they're trying not to get too ahead of themselves here uh the seven of pentacles Ooh, and i see the ten of cups at the bottom this is definitely someone who wants to invest they definitely see potential in this here but this is someone who doesn't want to just go off their feelings alone even though their feelings are very strong for you two of cups and now the lovers it's like this person wants to, I feel like they want to get to really know you, right? Because if they go just off their feelings alone, they feel like that could make it fall apart or it won't be as strong as it could be. This person doesn't want that with you because they actually see a lot of potential in this. You could work with this person. And so that could be another part of it where they're like, you know, uh, if I have to see Capricorn, I almost said Virgo, so you could be dealing with Virgo. If I have to see Capricorn every day at work, or, you know, sometimes we see each other for those projects or whatever. I don't want to just, you know, be uh, illogical about this and say some things that maybe might deter them or ruin things because I don't want to ruin that either. Right? This could, this could be a friendship, a friend who's growing strong feelings for you. So, like I said, soulmates can be friends, right? Maybe they don't want to ruin the friendship here. So they're trying to be smart, but this person sees so much potential here. Tell me more. The Wheel of Fortune. They're waiting for the right time here to come forward. Divine timing here. And of course, uh, divine timing is not always <laughs> the funnest concept because what does that mean? But whatever is yours will not pass you by. This is a strong connection. High Priestess, Two of Cups, The Lovers. This is, this is strong. This is meant to happen. This is one of those things where it's like no matter where you moved in this world or what you did or if you switch jobs or whatever you're gonna you and this person are gonna find each other in some way and it's coming through strong so it feels like it's sooner than later um we'll see if the angel answers at the end give us like a time frame but um this person feels like you came into their life at the perfect time tell me more about the king of swords because they're definitely going to have a conversation here with you we got the three of cups and the nine of cups so Sometimes uh, the threes can represent that there's other energies involved. For me, it feels like a work situation or maybe you're, this is a friend group or a friend of a friend, right? But this person has a lot of feelings for you. You could meet them at an event. Like if you get an invite to go somewhere, it feels like they're there. And so they, they also want to be mindful of, say, if your best friend invites you out and you go out and they say, hey, this is my friend so-and-so back from elementary school or back I used to work with them. And you two kind of have this instant connection. They're also being mindful of the fact, okay, Capricorn is really good friends with that person and I'm good friends with that person. So I don't want to 
you know, uh, damage anything there. Not that this person is a damaging person, they're just being very mindful of all the different parts is what I'm getting. But this person has a really great time with you. I feel like they're gonna tell you that too with this nine of cups, three of cups. They're gonna say, I have a lot of fun with you. You know, you you make me happy, you make me feel good. Um, maybe not those exact words, but again, they're also not trying to come on too, too strong here as well. Even though this lover's card is here. I mean, yeah, this person and this whole divine timing, I feel like this person, we have to remember that if we're trying to manifest this type of love, this type of deep soulmate connection that's that's very, you know, uh, fulfilling and emotionally stable and that other person is manifesting us just as much, right? They might not talk about it. They might not script it, but there's a part of them that's longing for that type of connection as well. Because if, because for you both to come together, it has to have been both of you want, like wanting that energy on some level. And I feel like you've really elevated your vibration, Capricorn. You might've been really into self, self-love, self-care. Um, a lot of people, you know, when the new year comes, they say this year is going to be different. And it's always when we're not really looking for connections that they happen to come in, right? So you might not even be technically, well, yeah, you might be focused on your work here. You might be focused on your long-term uh, wealth, your career, but this person is going to let you know they enjoy their time with you, that they do see potential, but they don't want to come off too strong either. Beautiful energy. Let's see their intentions. Sometimes the intentions can uh, be very revealing of what's really going on with this person. But so far they feel genuine. But let's see. What is the intentions of this person for Capricorn? Spirit. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords. So definitely wanting to come in here. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this person, they could be very, very work. This could be like a workaholic. Someone who takes on, I feel, a lot of responsibility um, because I feel like their job requires it of them, but also they're kind of that person where, say, uh, their boss or whoever says, can you take on this extra project? And they really can't. They'll be like, yeah, no problem. And they're working on that is what I'm getting. Um, that feels separate. Tell me about this Knight of Swords because they want to come forward here. And look, at I'm telling you, Two of Cups. This person wants to have union here with you. They want to just kind of rush into this, but they don't want to be uh, dumb about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. That's just how it's coming across. They don't wanna they don't wanna say or do something that they're like, why did I do that? Why did I say that? They just ruined everything. So as much as this person is like, I just wanna go for it here. I just wanna take this leap of faith towards Capricorn. I just wanna go for it. They're also, like I said with the high priestess, the high priestess is mute. The high priestess observes right? Takes in a lot of information. I feel like this person, they're trying to process through all of these feelings, the two of cups, the lovers, the nine of cups, and be like, whoa, okay, uh, I feel this and it's real, but let me be smart about this. And they're also, for the work, I feel like they're like, they don't want to feel so burdened by work that they don't have time for this connection, so there might be some things that they're trying to finish up with that as well. Um, soulmate card twice here, Capricorn. I love this. Anything else about the Knight of Swords? Three of Swords. I don't like that. Tell me about that. Eight of Swords. This person is fearful that you're going to... Five of Swords. Yeah, there's self-sabotage here. It's not another person. It feels like this person's own mind, their own fear. So... This is why they don't want to rush in either. They don't want to get heartbroken and they don't want to be overthinking about this connection. They don't want to be thinking, okay, I put myself out there. I said all the things. I put all my feelings out there. Maybe Capricorn, you are a little bit more reserved. Maybe you are a little bit more, let's take things slow or you don't just open up so easily. So that could come across to this person like you're not interested, right? So this person is very weary of that. I have to say, they're very much in their head. This is a deep thinker. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, especially Gemini, this person has a tendency to self-sabotage. They overthink a lot. Tell me more about that. The hanged man. Yeah, they're trying to see things from a different perspective here. Seven of Pentacles. Like this, one's, like, this person can see this going somewhere, but they want to take it slow. They almost just want to stop, observe, 
see what's going on. They're, I feel like they're becoming better at, um, I'm getting like King of Cups energy, like someone who can witness their emotions. Wow, I have these strong, strong, strong feelings for Capricorn. Everything in me just wants to rush towards them, but I'm going to sit back. I'm going to think about this, right? Um, also, I do feel like this person has insecurities here. They don't want to get their heart broken. Tell me, tell me more about that Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Tell me more about that Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Thank you. The King of Wands. This could be someone who feels like people assume the way that they look. They have everything figured out. So if this someone comes off very confident, very sure of themselves, or they're like in a certain position at work, what have you. They feel like people think that they can't experience pain. They can't experience heartbreak. And it's kind of almost like they feed into that a little bit sometimes too. Like they're like, okay, maybe that is a good way to protect myself. To just come off very confident, very sure of myself. Um, but there's so much more underneath this person. They could have tattoos, like a sleeve. They could even wear one of these little bracelets like this character is. That's really standing out for me. Or maybe you do. Um, this is just someone who's trying to do things differently is what I'm getting. They want to come together here with you though, for sure. They're, they're scared of heartbreak. Yeah, they're scared you might have other options. Because that's the thing, Capricorn, when we can know how we are, we can know who, what kind of person we are, you know, that we're, that we're loyal or that we wouldn't do certain things. But someone who's just meeting us, even though they do feel like a soulmate, um, they don't know these things about us. Right. And unfortunately, we live in a world that really uh, can glorify at times being cold, being emotionless, being a savage, being, you know, the, all those things that I think are just not what makes us human at all, um, even though that's not really what we want. Right. So it's about like getting to know each other. It's about like, like, where are they at? Where is Capricorn at? Because I feel this. Do they feel this? I don't want to come off like. A certain way yeah that's that's how that's how it's coming through um so but they do want to invest here again they see potential in this what what is a potential outcome what is the potential outcome ace of cups a lot of love here new beginning we have the nine of pentacles we have the lovers again Capricorn, who is this? You've got this person sprung. I don't ever say that, so maybe you do. Maybe that is it in the song. Um, this person wants you. This person loves you. They're they're falling in love with you here. This is coming together. You got the lovers and the two of cups twice in one reading. Sometimes those cards don't come out at all. <laughs> so there's love here. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. Um, let me pull on that nine of pentacles because it feels like the two of you. Yeah, it feels like um, we got the queen of wands there. Didn't that come out before? I don't know. Maybe it didn't. It feels like you're both. Uh, you're both very focused on your independence as well. You're both very focused on um, providing for yourself. You know, uh, you're very you're very ambitious, very career oriented. So I feel like the both of you embody that energy a lot. We did get the King of Wands too, right? So there is a divine match here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. I feel like the same sort of things drive you both. So if you're really passionate about, you know, um, human rights or equality or something like that. Um, you both share similar passions is what I'm getting. And I feel like that's kind of like the initial spark that you feel between the two of you. But I mean, it's so much more than that. The lovers here again. This is a kind of connection where you can still do your own thing and still enjoy your independence and still look good doing it and still and still be enjoying life and have this kind of connection. So if there's been connections before where it's like all consuming and you feel like you can't really be yourself or you can't still maintain your own routine or your own schedule, that's not this. Because this person is very busy, I have to say. But I feel like you're very busy, Capricorn. So heavy Gemini energy. Um, anything else for the potential outcome? There's a lot of love there. Oof. We got the Knight of Cups again. And we got the King of Pentacles. Wow. This could be a businessman, businesswoman. Someone who's an entrepreneur, someone who works really hard, someone who wants to share with what they've built so far. This person wants to date you. They want to get to know you. They're falling for you. 
This is, uh, there's a lot of emotion here. This kind of reading hasn't come out and I think Leo might have got a similar, similar, not even exact, but this is powerful, Capricorn. There's someone here who I feel like doesn't want to be taken advantage of, is scared of heartbreak, actually has some insecurities and some self-sabotaging uh, thinking patterns that you might not even be aware of, that they're trying to sort of mask themselves, but they, they see potential in this and they're trying to overcome that as well. This looks really good. Really, really good. Yeah. Judgment, the sun, the ace of wands, three of pentacles, ten of cups. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. Uh, who is this person? How will Capricorn know who this person is? Is that the page of pentacles? Could be younger than you. Could be an earth sign. Could start off as a friend. Could be a friend of a friend. Right, with that page of pentacles. Someone who I feel like is always trying to learn as well. Someone who's kind of, they might have like a job, but then you you find out even hobbies or like side hustles, they're always learning something. They could be very handsy as well. Someone who like creates with their hands. We got the two of pentacles and justice. Could be a Libra. Could be someone who works in the law. I feel like they they're always have something going on. This person is always busy is what I'm getting a very busy individual here kind of always there's always a task to do with this person but they're looking for someone to kind of settle down with and and go on those dates and when they do have that downtime you know um open up and and be vulnerable and talk about life seeing that wheel of fortune again and the fool again so this could be a friendship that blossoms into something much deeper here. But like I said, you got the lovers and the two of cups twice. Uh, there's definitely a strong connection here. Undeniable. Any advice for Capricorn? We have the six of pentacles and the seven of cups. Interesting. You might have a lot of options coming in here, Capricorn. Be Use your discernment about who you give your energy to. And as soon as I said that, the high priestess came out. Yeah, seven of swords. Be aware of anyone who kind of makes you... Um, question what their intentions are or what they're doing just be aware of where, who you give your energy to use your intuition use your discernment here with that high priestess energy and again the high priestess came out for this person and how they feel about you so if there's something drawing you towards this person it's for a reason there's a strong soulmate connection here but again with the lovers twice it's it's so, it's so strong <laughs> you can't deny this so if you have a lot of options or there's more people that are kind of coming in Maybe some of them make you feel like you don't really know if they're being truthful or you don't know what their intentions are. Just be aware of where you put your energy. Follow, follow that gut is what I'm getting. Ooh, powerful energy here. Um, let's see what we get from Kipper. I haven't been using Kipper, but the last few sessions I felt like I needed to. We got false person, number eight. Yeah, so that, that's, that's kind of what I was getting here for your advice. If there's someone who feels deceptive or there's other options that make you question things, um, go with your intuition here. Go with your gut because it's right. We got main male. Um, so this could be, we have courtship. Yeah, there's, there's someone coming here for you. And just because it says main male doesn't mean um, they have to be a male or you do. It just means like there's a main person. Right. And I feel like there is this courtship with that Knight of Cups wanting to date, wanting to get to know. Right. One or both of you could be the main person of, of your company with that King of Pentacles coming out. Right. Um, so take that as it resonates. But there's definitely an option that I feel like you might have that leaves you confused or makes you feel like you're not sure. That's not this person. We have judication. So like I said, that like they could work in the law. There could be something to do with the government here or something like that. This could be a, a, uh, someone you've already dealt with, an ex or something like that, who's just deceptive, who lies. There's some, there's some other energy coming through here. Let me just see if I can... What is this false person? What is this false person? Seven of Swords. What is, what is this? So you could have blocked this person. You're getting seven, seven now. Someone you feel like you have to... You have to protect your energy from. That's not this new person. That's not that. 
So if you're already dealing with someone and you're like, is it them? But you don't know, you, you feel like you're questioning their intentions or what or there's something your intuition is telling something's off or that you should, you have to protect your energy from this person. That's not it. Um, okay, let's see. Messages for Capricorn. This new connection is very, very, very strong. It's like the beginning of something beautiful here, I feel, Capricorn. We have Shapeshifter. Transform and unveil, unveil your gifts. So I feel like here, uh, Capricorn, you have a lot to offer in a lot of different realms. Not just work, not just being a friend, not just being you know, a romantic person. There's a lot of things in life you just kind of offer the world. You might give really good advice. You might have a lot of knowledge about different things. You might be a good listener, a good shoulder to lean on. Like there's different things. I feel like there's so many aspects of you that are really great qualities. And I feel like um, that's also what this person really enjoys about you as well. And then we got Earth Guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. So especially if there's some other false person around you or something like that, um, stay in the present moment. I feel like uh, Virgo got a similar message of staying in the here and the now. Uh, be present. Go with go with what's happening as it's happening. Um, we got improving health. So again, health can be spiritual, emotional, physical, uh, mental. Right. I feel like there is this like self care, self love journey happening. We have don't stop. You have success. Keep going with what you're doing. It's working. I feel like some of you are writing down like thank you god thank you universe thank you spirit whatever it might be that's working keep doing that and then we have ask for help from others so confide in those trusted loved ones to help you that can also be guide calling on your spirit team um we have it's time to release negativity i'm telling you there's some sort of false person some sort of deceptive energy that could potentially be holding you back to from meeting this new opportunity so just be aware of that because there's something there that's coming through conclusions are within reach so you might be like wrapping up a connection with someone else or you might have thought about it your intuition was kind of telling you like i don't know if i can trust this person um, or these people it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner it could be friends it could be family unfortunately sometimes right um, there's just there's some sort of energy around you that your intuition is telling you that's not for me that's not because we have to remember when we start to elevate our energy when we start to raise our vibration naturally uh energies and vibrations that are lower than us not that they're less than but just lower um start to fall away right because it's like abraham hicks talks about tuning in think about it like tuning into a radio station if you're trying to raise your vibration to reach you know i don't know 103.7 but you've been operating at like 101 everyone who's still at 101 can't come with you to that higher vibration right so there's something here that needs to be released um i hope that made sense <laughs> We got higher power, number four, which I love. We got loyal heart and we got poised. Okay, there's definitely something here about tapping into your intuition, something about uh, a deeper knowing here, but let's, I know we got three, sometimes we only get one, so we'll, but we're gonna read all of them. Uh, let's see. Okay, now is the time to examine what you are giving energy and attention to in the back of your mind. So even that was your advice, use your discernment about what you're giving energy to here. Um, thank you, Spirit. If you're obsessing about being right, about old resentments or failed expectations, about money or about any other people, places or things, these will be the source from which you create. But you want Spirit to be your source. Take heart, for your higher power will never desert you and is always waiting for you to remember the sacred partnership that you share. Turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good. There is no greater source than spirit. You can always surrender your troubles and trust that they will be taken care of. You are in good hands. So really just need to, yeah, trust in that higher power, right? I feel like a lot of you, your third eye is opening with that. This The artwork on this is just beautiful. This is the wisdom of the Oracle. All of my decks are listed down below if you're interested, but um, yeah, you're really connecting to your higher self here and like understanding what's good for you, raising that vibration, like I said. Um, so let's go to loyal heart. 
Are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? Or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a sign that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Thank you, Spirit. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. Thank you so much, Spirit. I just love when this deck comes through and just confirms <laughs> so strong, like in a very eloquent way. Sometimes I don't say uh, exactly... I'm more of a visual person. Sometimes it's hard to convey what's coming through, but um, yeah, there's just, you're, you're raising up and I feel like you can't bring everyone with you. They're not meant to come with you either, right? Sometimes people are meant to see you and be with you and experience you at a certain vibration, at a certain level for a certain amount of time. And then once you elevate, it's like time for new. And I feel like both of these cards are talking about that. And number 48, poise now. I feel like this is you being very poised um, and also embracing a new energy here so we got being ready bringing something to light being at your best confidence when you're confident and happy in your own skin you are ready for deeper more intimate relationships you have nothing to prove right now you are completely yourself and can handle anything love friendships and harmonious new connections are all present now or are coming in you're ready to give and receive from the heart this is a beautiful place to be wow Capricorn, what a beautiful message because it's just really speaking to your growth and your spiritual journey, your healing journey, improving yourself, taking that initiative to do so, right? Bettering yourself and then along comes an energy who's at that same vibration and you deserve it. Um, I love this. <laughs> I love those. For those of you that know me, you know I, I love love. It's just, yeah, I just love it. Anyway, let's see. These could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we got K, D, Y, H, F, the number three, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Capricorn, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy and for being here. Sending you so much love and light.